Praise the Lord today. My name is Pastor Lucy Painter of Glorious Power Church, and I'm here with your daily insight. Today, I want to speak about encouragement. Encouragement is a great motivator. It makes people exert greater effort to accomplish their objectives. It helps to make people successful in their endeavors. And what are some of the encouraging words or phrases we use? You may tell somebody to hang in there. You may encourage someone to not give up, to keep pushing, keep fighting, to stay strong. Encouragement is important in our daily life. But what happens when there is no one to encourage you? What happens when those who are supposed to encourage you turn against you and blame you for the misfortune that may have befallen them? All at this time where we are all facing the common enemy and maybe no one is there to encourage you, what happens when you need that encouragement? A time came in the book of 1 Samuel 30, David and his men had gone out for war and they came back victorious. But when they came back to their home, their home was called Ziklag, on the third day, they found that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire. Can you imagine that? Coming from a place of victory only to come home and find there is no home. The houses have been burned down. The wives have been carried away. The children have been carried away. They had taken the women captives. They, they, there was nothing remaining in the city. And so this man, together with David, in as much as they were men of war, when they found that their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives, the Bible says that David and the people that were with him lifted up their voices and wept until they had no more power to weep. When I read this, I always wonder how much tears had they shed to the extent that they cannot cry anymore. You know, it's not easy for men to cry, but these men that were with David, they had been hit where it the heart most their wives their families everything they held dear had been taken away and then after that weeping and crying and there's no more power the bible says that david was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him after they were so angry and so sad they got to a point of looking up to the leader and saying, if we were not for David, we would still have our family. And they thought, why don't we stone him? Why don't we just kill him? He is the cause of our problem. And you know, that's what happens when we go through trials and troubles. And sometimes we look for somebody to blame. I know maybe you have been blamed for something that you had nothing to do with it or something that has happened and it's not your fault. So this people they were David's friend they were David's company but they thought of stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved every man for his sons and for his daughters but the Bible says but David encouraged himself in the Lord his God so David did not focus on what they were purposing to do. He knew this time I have no one to encourage me. I have no one to tell me keep going. I have no one to tell me keep fighting. I have to encourage myself. And I want to urge you today in the name of the Lord. If you ever find yourself in such a place, encourage yourself in the Lord. Yes, you have spoken those words to other people, but today it is time to tell yourself and call yourself by name and say, come on, Lucy, hang in there. Come on, call yourself by name. If you're called Peter, you can say, come on, Peter, don't give up. If your name is Mark, you can say, come on, Mark, keep pushing. If your name is Lucy, you can say, Lucy, keep fighting, stay strong. It is important that each and every one of us gets to the place of encouraging themselves in the Lord. Encourage yourself because when you encourage yourself, you get the strength to keep fighting. Father, in Jesus name.
I pray for my listener. I declare that even if there is no one to encourage them, they will encourage themselves in the Lord. And together we declare that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you.